Hey everyone, welcome to tonight's Big Brother 26 chat. Oh, hi. It's the first eviction night of the season. Woo! Alright, it's also episode 5. Julie, this is breaking news, is in her jumpsuit era. Whoa, it's official. It's the Julie Eras tour. <laughs> <laughs> We're kicking it off with the jumpsuits. I mean, she looked great. I, I thought... I fully support jumpsuit era. That jumpsuit... <laughs> Looked amazing on her. <laughs> Wonderful. Just saying. Mm-hmm. All right, so last time Lisa won the veto and saved herself, and Angela was only too happy to put Matt up on the block as the oh, replacement. Oh, yeah. She was so freaking excited for this. She even set up a blind side that we did not see on the episode because she wanted Matt to be extra, like, stung by it. So she was pretending like she was going to put Tucker up on the block, and she did not. Lame. <laughs> All right, so... Entertainment-wise, A+. Plus. <laughs> so Kenny and Kimo were also on the block still. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got Kimo versus Kenny versus Matt. Angela said Crazy Eyes had it coming. He had it coming. She gotta stop calling him Crazy Eyes. That's so bad. <laughs> that is so freaking bad, man. Mm -hmm. All right, so... Mackenzie and Matt, they are not a showmance. <laughs> okay, well, they're sure getting the showmance edit, and it's very annoying. I can get down with a showmance when it's, like, a legit thing where two people are like, oh, I actually really like you. But the, like, manufactured ones that you know production is, like, counting on. Stop trying to make Matt Kenzie happen. Yeah, we don't need that. He is a youth pastor minister everybody knows it's matt kenny all the way <laughs> <laughs> all right maybe it's many or cat yeah all right well she didn't use the america's vote on him so it's definitely not a showman i mean it's, it's not a showman it's not a throwman's it's not a <laughs> thruple it's not anything it's a faux man's is it a flirt man's I guess. Honestly, I was really happy when she said, I'm saving this for me if I'm in trouble. Because why should she be using that power on someone she just met? Uh, because she wants someone to lay with. You can do that after. <laughs> Three months. Get over it. <laughs> All right. So hopefully he'll have the votes is what she said. I think she also really thought he was going to have the votes. Yeah. She was wrong. Well, Matt is, or sorry, Kenny is really upset that Matt is up on the block. Hey, I'm going to throw the AI arena comp because uh, Matt's my boy. Oh! I was counting on Matt to rally some votes for me if I was on the block. <laughs> that was just too much for me. Get your own damn votes. Like, why are you relying on Matt to do all this legwork for you? Because the only thing he can talk to is his freaking coffee in the morning. He's sitting there, um, oh, it's such a good cup of coffee. <laughs> it's too much. It is too much. So Kenny did not want to have to campaign for himself, but he sure did a bunch of campaigning for Matt this week. I just don't get it. Like, you put in... So much time and effort, excuse me, I'm tired of it. <laughs> so much time and effort yes. to get so into this I. house. And then... You're just going to give it all away? You tricked a woman to marry you about this show, and you're going to quit? What does that say about your marriage, Kenny? Everybody, that's a joke. It's I don't want joke. anyone to be like, oh, I can't believe you said that. It's a joke for crying out loud. All right. So anyway, uh, Quinn doesn't know what to do here. He's confused because Angela has pretty much rejected the collective alliance yes. of nine people. So Well, she also outed it, so it's, like, impossible for them to meet, even in the shadow. I mean, she didn't, like, fully out it. She didn't say, like, these people are all in an alliance. But she was all, for the people who visited me last night. <laughs> you were the worst actors ever. <laughs> no budget. Yeah, so Quinn is like, oh, we can't all vote as a house because we can't all meet and discuss this vote. I mean, when you look back at all of the seasons of Big Brother, it was always like, I'm voting with the house. I'm voting with the house. Don't want to be on the wrong side right? of the vote. Right? I, for one, am happy that that is not happening here. Right. So. Also, they don't know for sure who's going to be left on the block right. for the vote. 
because somebody is still going to come off of the block with the AI arena competition. You don't want to tell somebody that you're not going to vote for them and then you end up voting for them or vice versa, you know? So you're not going to say anything. It's a lot to consider. It is a lot to consider. Nobody wants to be on the wrong side of the vote, especially this early on in the game. There's a lot of moving parts here. Mm-hmm. Um... Let's Bar talk about another the alliance. The Barbershop Alliance. The BS Alliance. I'm sorry, but you're setting yourself up for failure here. If you're calling it the BS Alliance. This one is a joke. It's a joke. I mean, it seemed like it was supposed to be very real for Matt, Mackenzie, and Leah. This was supposed to be to get all the votes for Matt to stay, but like three people in the alliance can't even vote. Yeah. This anyway. is supposed to be Matt, Mackenzie, Leah, and then Cam... Rubina, Rubina, Cedric, Chelsea, and Brooklyn. Yeah. But, like, more than half of the allies in this group are not serious about this alliance. No. All right. Well, when Big Brother Diary Room asked Mackenzie, do you like Matt? What's going on? Of we course. need a showman. They had to have a showman segment before Matt goes because they need to make sure they get this in there. Oh, that's not the last we'll be hearing of it either. But she said, oh, well, we're not in the showman's yet, but <laughs> brick by brick. He's breaking down her walls. Slowly by slowly. I've never heard that one before. That's a new one. <laughs> yeah. Slowly by slowly. All right. Well, Kimo is also campaigning. He's trying to get Lisa's vote. Lisa! Lisa was all over the place this week. I don't know what her deal was. She, like, did not want to accept Whenever people would tell her, it seemed like the votes were there for Matt to go. She was just like, la 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 <laughs> She is, didn't want to hear it. Is she trying to look like um, she's on acid all the time? <laughs> she looks like the freaking snail or the caterpillar or whatever in Alice in Wonderland. I was sitting on the mushroom. A-E-I-O-U. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, she's the vibe curator. You know this. The vibes are immaculate, apparently. Immaculate? What's with that word tonight? It's like, I don't know, that generation, whatever. <laughs> the younger the younger crowd. Younger than you? Yeah. That's so weird. How do you feel now? I feel fine. But anyway, uh, yeah, Lisa is telling Chemo, like, I can't make you any promises until I know who's actually going to be up on the block. I think she even told him at one point, if it's you versus Kenny, then I'll keep you. But if it's you versus Matt, I don't know. Well, I think Yikes. She, had, she had a little crush on that, so. I don't know what's going on there, but it's not good. All right, well. <laughs> Everyone's telling Kimo, like, you're going to be fine. You're going to win the AI Arena comp. But he wasn't feeling very confident about it. Because he was like, I'm up against Matt, who's like the stereotypical comp beast type. And then Yes, but Kenny. the comps this season are not the stereotypical They're not, comps. which, uh Again, love it. Round of applause for the competition team because we've been loving it. Julie, you had nothing to do with that. <laughs> All right, so Angela goes off on Kenny for wanting to quit because she was like, "All right, I'm really gonna need you to beat this little kid's butt in the because AI Because if he stays in the house, I'm in trouble. And Kenny was like, "Yeah, I don't want to do that. I'm not gonna do it. I don't even want to be here anymore." <laughs> <laughs> like he's ready to freaking. Risk it all for Matt. He's laying it down. He doesn't care, which Matt is really sad. is his son. His dad was a cop. Matt's dad was a cop, mm -hmm. so, like, it's a whole brotherhood The transitive thing. property, Matt is his son. Yes, exactly. <sighs> it's cop... It's a uh, cop beat, whatever. Cop brotherhood type thing. Cop bro yeah. Um, but, like, he just met Matt. Like, less than a week ago at that time. Doesn't matter. Blue Bloods, baby. Blue Bloods. Where's, uh, what's-his-face with the mustache? Who? From the Blue Blood show. Oh, uh, Tom <laughs> Selleck? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well. Yeah, so. He's not going up against Matt, and you can't make him, Angela. Kenny was you like, can't. no, no he's my number one ally. I don't want to do it. And Angela was all like, Matt is not your son. He didn't help you get here. I'm so disappointed in you. And Kenny was all like, well, I'm disappointed in some of the moves you made this week. Like, that's why I'm here on the block. Don't upset mother. Do yeah. as I say. And Angela was all like, I guess I made the right move because you don't want it as bad as I do. <laughs> it's a lot to unpack, but 
We don't have time of, for that. What kind of hangover is she going to wake up to tomorrow? Like Every single I morning. I can't believe I blew it. Every morning she gets up and she's just like, I messed it all up. I don't know how I'm going to fix this. Uh, and yet she's still there. All right. So anyway, it's time for the BB AI Arena competition. Finally, we get to see what the AI Arena is all about. This was a lot of fun. They must have been in the alternate Alternate space, location. Alternate universe. Right. And it must be fairly close by because uh, they transported back fairly quickly after I'm sure the comp was over. it's a golf cart or less away. Okay. <laughs> We've got queens walking. Yeah, queens are walking. <laughs> All right. So the competition and Julie did not have to read the rules to which she said, thank you, I don't do that anymore. I have blue chick to do that. <laughs> oh, my God. So... The bald blue chick read the rules. Mm -hmm. Couldn't they at least like? Oh, come here. Get her a wig. Or I really something, want her or? to see her in the bob wig that Julie wore last year <laughs> or two With years ago, bangs? whatever it was. Yeah. Yeah. And she's always in the same outfit. I mean, of no outfit. Yeah. Justice for Ainsley. <laughs> I know. I mean, Julie has a nice wardrobe. Couldn't we put a little something on? What Ainsley? if they had a uh, Ainsley in a matching outfit? With, like, the same outfit as Julie every week. Julie says no. I veto that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, this competition was called Glitch in the System. Okay. 16 videos going on simultaneously in that event space. They took, like, the videos of what looks like them, like, getting loose to film their intros. Yes. Um, and they, like, made these composition compilations of everybody. Right. And honestly, it was a lot they of fun. They multiplied them. Yeah, it was a lot yeah. of fun seeing the different formations and watching them all goof off in these videos. Yeah, so they had two minutes to walk around and look at all the videos and try and decide who was seen the most mm -hmm. in the entire room. Oh, that's hard. Because they had their individuals. Right, there were individual ones, and then there were a few where it was Group like ones. a bunch of them popping up really quickly. Right. That was a tough, tough competition. It was. Because, like, you couldn't, you didn't have time to go around and no. count all of them. I mean, what, they had, like, two minutes to lock it in? Yeah. So whoever got the correct answer in the shortest amount of time It's wins. really, it was really a crapshoot, because there's no freaking way. I didn't hear, though. What happens if nobody gets it right? Did she explain that? No. Maybe whoever buzzed in in the fastest time. But, like, even if they were wrong? If they're all wrong. Maybe. I don't know. All right, well, Kimo, well, they all came and buzzed in just about around, around the, the same, same time. time. So Kimo had guessed Quinn. Kenny went for Joseph. And Matt uh, guessed t -Cor. Who would you suppose, when you looked at the things, like, make a guess for yourself? Who did you think? I was not even trying because I was like, I don't know. I can't see all the information, so whatever. <laughs> I was well, just watching the show unfold. Well, Sean, not right now, but <laughs> not right now. <laughs> Sean wants Should to open I some mail. Yeah. All right. Well, after in, buddy, in my short list was Quinn and Joseph. No, not right oh now. yeah, yeah. You didn't have a guess at all, any? I didn't. You just pissed him off big time. I know. I'm sorry. He's used to us <laughs> opening uh, viewer mail during the live streams, which is usually on Thursday nights. But we're not even live, and that is not from a viewer. No. <laughs> All right, so it was Kimo who guessed Quinn. Yeah! I had a feeling Kimo was going to be safe even if he was still up on the block, but it was so satisfying to watch him win because especially he didn't think he was going to be able to win. Yeah. So I'm sure that was a great boost of confidence for him. Right. So the house guest had no idea what was going on. So mm -hmm. Julie said, let me tell the house guest who won. So Julie uh, is killing time while they're going on their golf carts back into the house. <laughs> and she said uh, that Kimo won the safety. And everybody lost they their They lost shit. their minds. Well, Mackenzie before that was all like... Yeah. It reminded me of Harry Potter when um, they're trying to put the curse on Harry when he's playing Quidditch because they want mm -hmm. him to fall. And Snape is doing the counter spell right. where he's also like... <laughs> And that's what I was getting from Mackenzie. But, okay. <laughs> you know, when they're sitting in the stands. Yes. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that was all going down. And then everybody freaked out when they heard that Kimo won. They were so happy for him. They were so loud and boisterous. Especially and Angela. That they had to go to fish. Angela was freaking psyched that Matt did not win. 
oh, thank God, he's not going to come after me. Yeah. So, um, like you said, they had to bleep it out because people were celebrating. Yeah. And uh, Julie could not get them to shut up. I know. So then everybody comes downstairs, and Julie's explaining, all right, Matt and Kenny, you have two minutes to campaign before we vote. Miss Chen was having a rough time getting control of this classroom. <laughs> Okay, I don't think they realized um, when Julie tells you you have two minutes to campaign, that means, like, pull people aside into other rooms and, like, talk. But there's so many recruits here that nobody knew what the hell was going on. Oh, my God. So then a minute passes and Julie's like, okay, it's like a minute left. 60 so seconds to campaign. This prompts Kenny to start just blurting out a speech. Word vomiting in front of everyone. And again, Julie's like, you know, you could, like, go in another room or something. And then Matt starts, pissed. yeah, Matt starts blurting out well, in front of Kenny's everybody. Well, if just going to say it in front of everyone else, so will I. I'm a youth pastor. So <laughs> so then Julie's like, all right, save it for the speeches. Enough of this. You're not doing what I want. She was pretty disgusted. I mean, I was also like, hello, what are you doing? They've obviously not seen much of the show. No. So, yeah. So um, Julie said, get your seats on those cushions. And Matt and Kenny... Cuddled up together. <laughs> it was too much. It was too much. Oh my god, they're in love. So then it was time for the final please. Officially, Julie was like, all right, now you can do your thing. Kenny said, I had a great experience here. I tricked my wife into marrying me because of this show. She gave me four beautiful kids. Blah, Honestly, blah, 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 blah. I thought for sure Kenny was going to be like, vote me out, keep Matt. That's my boy. Mm -hmm. I thought that he was going to do that, but he didn't. He was like, do what's best for your game, whatever. Yeah. Well, he didn't want to look like a I mean, total... that would have looked really bad. Yeah. <laughs> all right. And then Matt was all like, I'm thankful for everyone. What the world needs now is love. He said, we all want we peace. Love. We all want peace in here. Well, we don't. No, we want good TV. <laughs> we want good feeds. We want fun feeds. All right, so he said, I played with character and integrity. He made a point of saying that a bunch and, like, morals, blah, blah, blah. They and cut to Angela. She's, she's all like, freaking pissed. She's like. Yeah. And he's like, I forgive you 70 times 7. That's what the Bible said. So, of course, Julie was like. <gasps> Matt. That sounded biblical. Oh. She's perking up. It's too much. It's too much. It's time for the vote. Uh. Quinn said, Julie, you look immaculate. Immaculate. Immaculate conception. No! All right. Julie's pregnant now. <laughs> Just a reminder, Chelsea and um, Cedric were not allowed to vote this week right. because they were downgraded, but they were standing there in their costumes. They couldn't sit down because they can't sit down in those. I hope they weren't wearing those for, like, hours and unable to sit down. So. I hope they I let them so. put that on, like, right before. Well, Matt uh, was evicted eight to three. He was. And the Mackenzie three, was pretty shocked. The three were Mackenzie, Leah, and Lisa. I don't know how surprised Matt was, but Mackenzie looked pretty surprised. Yeah, they were really, um, they couldn't read the room. You yeah. Know? I'm not surprised at this vote um, with, you know, Lisa and Leah mm -hmm. joining Mackenzie in this vote because Leah and Lisa have just recently, as of, like, yesterday, gotten super close. Right. And I have a feeling Leah was like, even if Matt's going, I want to vote for him to stay because of the romance. And I'm sure Lisa was also like, okay, I'll do that too. Yeah. <laughs> On a mushroom? All right. <laughs> but also Lisa all week was like, I don't know, like, maybe we should keep Matt. Are the votes there? <laughs> So I'm not surprised. I don't surprised. want to be on the wrong side of the vote. Yeah. So Angela was thrilled. Oh, my God. When Julie read the votes, Angela was like. She <laughs> made it totally obvious. She did the Dwight Schrute face at first, but then she was all like. <laughs> <laughs> Who's crazy eyes now, Angela? <laughs> all right. So Julie and Matt have a sit down. Okay. Wow. Um, Julie was thrilled, by the way. To see him in person. To see him in person. To see that smile. Did you see Julie's smile? She sat just a little bit taller in that director's <laughs> oh my chair. Oh, God. All right. Well, Julie wanted to know, what did you whisper to Mackenzie? Because she was visibly upset with you leaving. He said, hook up. Hook up after the show. That's right. Basically. Yep. 
So, uh, she's like... Alright, what, whatever. What, what the frig was up with Angela? Let's talk about Angela. That's what everyone wants to know. Uh, Matt said, I didn't agree with how she treated me. Love one another. That was a classy way of saying she's nuts. What's wrong with Angela? <laughs> Um, yeah, so Julie was like, okay, but, like, did you threaten her during that one-on-one conversation? Were you silent or were you silenced? Yeah. She had some receipts. She had some direct quotations. What did you think of Julie's reading of the receipts? It seemed like it was the first time she was reading it because the phrasing felt off. I don't know. (laughs) Why couldn't we have had a video clip? I don't know. (laughs) But she was asking him about that, and he was like, that wasn't my intention, blah, blah, blah. And, okay, I think he made, I've said this before, really, really dumb to tell the HOH that you're going to go after them. However. But it was not a threat. Angela way made that mountain out of the molehill, right? Like, the aggressive thing. I don't know if you could have a more laid-back threat. (laughs) You know what I mean? I think Angela is disconnected from reality. I don't know. I also want to clarify, because a lot of people were getting it twisted in the comments. We want Angela to stay. We do not think that she should be removed from what we've seen. Because I know a lot of people were like, oh, I can't believe you're saying this. No, because the game's going to be boring as hell without Angela. Yeah. (laughs) Even though we were saying that Angela was like, borderline bullying Matt with the crazy eyes thing. That's not to say that it's as bad as it was before. I know a lot of people were comparing it to like old school Big Brother. I'm talking like 2024. You should not be making fun of somebody's physical features right. like that. I find that inappropriate. Um, but again. You should also not put out cigarettes on people. Yeah. Looking <laughs> back, some of the stuff old school Big Brother was messed up. Yeah. It was messed up. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, I just had to clear some of that up. For its time, though, I mean, it was pretty messed up for its time, too. I remember us being, like, appalled. By some of it, yeah, yeah. for sure. I also want to say, um, I know we were talking about how we wanted Matt to stay for the drama between him and Angela, but you know what? We don't need Matt. Now that I'm thinking about it, because Angela's just going to find new enemies, she's going to keep rolling along, and we're going to have that I think one of her new enemies is going to be Mackenzie, straight up. Could be. I mean, also Lisa. She's got the thing with Lisa. And I got a bone to pick with this show for not showing the argument between Angela and Lisa this week. Because apparently it was a doozy. We did not get to see it on the live feeds. And I'm very disappointed that it wasn't on the show either. Do you think they're holding it for a future flashback? Maybe. I hope so. Because I feel like it's going to have an effect on the game. I think so, too. How do you not tell that part of the story? I know, right? You know, all of a sudden, it's just like, oh, Angela and Lisa have They hate beef. each other. <laughs> Where did this come from? How did that happen? Yeah. All right. Well, Julie said, did you threaten her? And and Matt said, Julie, come on. Do you love Jesus? <laughs> I did not. Uh, so, he's a totally normal guy. You didn't know? Julie is asking for his final words, and he brought up how... His mom, you know, learned to speak English from watching Julie when she came to America in 93. How disgusted was Julie when she was like, oh, so your mom's Asian? I don't think she was disgusted. (laughs) She just seemed like, oh, so she's Asian too? I think that was more her clarifying for the audience if they didn't know the full story there. Of, like, why that was significant, you know what I mean? Okay. That's what, that's how I interpreted it. All right. Maybe. So... Stay tuned for Matt and Julie's Vacation Bible Camp. You know he's going to be on that podcast. Oh, yeah. She can't (laughs) wait. She even pulled him in to deliver the final line of the episode. It was like when we say much love. Yeah. They were like, love one one another. another. (laughs) All right. So, of course, we got to eavesdrop on the house guests at the end of the episode. Heavily Angela and Mackenzie and uh, Leah, like... Being like, we're going to avenge you, Matt. Like, yeah. Angela's going down. Yeah. And then they cut to Angela, and she's all just like... <laughs> Who's going to be her next target? Probably Lisa, right? Pick pick your poison. I mean, yeah. she could turn on anyone at the drop of a hat, so it could be anybody, but right now, I think Lisa is a top-tier target for her. Also, I can't wait to see what the new powers are going to be. I know! 
plus, like, we don't know who the HOH is yet. That's mm-hmm. going to be on Sunday's episode. But if you don't want to wait, make sure you watch tomorrow's spoiler live stream. I know. Oh, he agrees. Or if you find out tonight, are you going to put it in the comments? Of... I'll put it in the info, the description for this. Oh, right. The, right, okay. Actually, I'll put Not it in this one, the description for the spoiler from right. today. Come here, sir. I'm sure I'll be talking about it on Twitter, too. So. Okay. Anyway. But well, we said we gotta go. We gotta, we gotta wrap it up. So thank you all so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed tonight. And we'll be back tomorrow for the live stream. Yeah. So until next time. Much, much love. love.